Hi, my name is uh, Jim Lake. I'm with the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, and I've been delivering a uh, number of mini presentations on the subject of planar projection theory. Um, uh, previous to this, I talked uh, at some length about perspective projections, the more general case uh, um, example of planar projections. Now we'll move on to uh, parallel projections, yet another type of uh, um, planar projection. So here we see um, a scene, the, the, the typical uh, the typical elements found in any projection system. Again, you have the uh, the the object, the three-dimensional object, the projection plane. Uh, now the projector projectors, you'll notice though, they are parallel. We uh, we can say in order to distinguish parallel from uh, perspective projections that these these uh, the the center of projection in a parallel projection is infinitely far from the object, so it has the tendency to, to make these projectors straighten out and become parallel, and then we go ahead and we do the, uh, the projection with the projectors intersecting the projection plane. We trim them with respect to the projection plane in order to generate the projected image. Um, one other comment I guess I should make is that in a uh, uh, parallel projection, unlike the perspective projections, all parallel object edges, when projected, will be parallel in a parallel projection. So that's maybe, there are no vanishing points. So here uh, is an, another slide, uh, so we can make a couple more comments about um, planar projections and how they differ from uh, um, perspective projections. Because these projectors are parallel to one another, it really doesn't matter where the projection plane is. Those projectors are not converging. Uh, so when I do the projection, the size of the object uh, is the same regardless of the location of the projection. So. The, uh, the, the location of the projection plane does not affect the projection, get the same result regardless, and the size of the projection does not change. It doesn't matter how far uh, behind the object or even in front of the object the projection plane is, the result, the, the object will be projected same size uh, regardless. And then finally, um, now we're done with the, the more general case, the more concrete or realistic type of planar projections, the perspective projections, and we're moving on exclusively to parallel projections. So in the next uh, uh, presentation, we'll be talking about oblique projections, and then afterwards we'll move on to uh, orthographic projections, which include isometric uh, projections and isometric pictorial, and then the different kinds of multi-views, those views that are typically uh, associated with, with engineering drawings. So this concludes uh, uh, the brief introduction to parallel projections, um, and next time we'll move on and talk about oblique projections. Thank you.